fresh, accessible, and creative. Just some of the words used to describe our chef on a shoestring southern cooking. And lucky for you, he's sharing it with us this morning. Chef John Kearns is the executive chef and owner of City Grocery in Oxford, Mississippi. Also winner of this year's Best Southern Chef Award from the James Beard Foundation. And our chef on a shoestring this week. Great to have you with us this morning. Thanks, Thanks for coming up from here. Mississippi to chilly New York. Thank you. Of course, you know your challenge. A fantastic meal for four, but on our recession-proof budget of $35. So what's on your menu? A challenge. Today we're going to do a uh, savory uh, mushroom stuffed pop-tart, a uh, garlic-studded uh, pork, uh, pork roast, and then we've got a flourless uh, chocolate espresso souffle cake for dessert. I like the sound of all of those. I'm totally intrigued, I have to say, by the pop-tart. This is not your average pop-tart. No, no, no. And it's, 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 it's actually... Uh, my wife's favorite. We play with a lot of, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's her birthday today, so we I did it for her. Happy so, birthday! Yeah. Um, so, so to make the uh, the so-called pop tart, using mushrooms, a little bit of goat cheese. Mm -hmm. And some fancy looking dough here. Yeah, well you can actually, uh, you can use a store, store bought uh, pie dough. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually homemade that uh, we put a little bit of, um, of uh, uh, dried herbs in and a little bit of cayenne pepper uh, to, to sort of punch up the flavor and make right. it a little more savory. You leave sugar out of, a, of just a regular, uh, a regular pie dough. Okay. And uh, all you do really is just we've, uh, we've taken a selection of, uh, of uh, seasonal mushrooms. And you this like to use a bunch of different ones. And I noticed that the key word is seasonal here. You actually change up your menu a lot seasonally at I, your I restaurant. Yes, ma'am. I sure do. We, uh, we change that menu about every eight weeks. Um, so whatever mushrooms you find in season at your local yeah, store. Yeah, and they're this. crazy good mushrooms in right now. Chanterelles. Uh, they're a little on the expensive side, so uh, for, for this menu, uh, we just used uh, shiitakes and cremini mushrooms. Okay, which we which have right here. here. Yeah. Um, we so we've got the mushrooms in there. I see a, a log of goat cheese mm -hmm. that's calling my name. Right. <laughs> do we, and how do we put the goat cheese in? All we're going to do is just take a tiny little bit of it. Okay. Crumble it. Crumble a little bit on there. Over the top. And then we took some, uh, some shallots and some garlic. Oh, and roasted those. And you just roast those in the oven? Well, we just actually crisp them up in a little bit of oil. Okay. And, uh, and use that seasoned oil uh, to, uh, to cook the mushrooms in. I like the synergy there. So, so we've got everything on. Right. Is it time to put the top on? Yep. All you do is just... On uh, the top. We're going to brush... Like we're gonna, this? Well, we're going to brush it first with first? a little bit okay. of egg wash. This, uh, that'll, that'll lock it gotcha. uh, lock it in when it cooks. So just brush around the edges mm -hmm. there. Yeah, and you can use anything to make these Pop-Tarts with. Uh, you can use uh, sunchokes. Uh, artichoke hearts, you know, just anything that uh, that you like that sort of roasts up nicely. Right. So it, it'll look great, and if you have children at home, they may eat it just because of the name. Exactly. Which is always helpful. Ex Little do they know, it's the healthy pop tart. Exactly. There's no sugar. Exactly. So, so once we've got this all set, do you put a little bit more of the egg wash on top just for uh, uh, we will. that we'll, beautiful uh, color? We'll uh, we'll cut uh, a couple of vents in there to, to let the steam out. No explosions and in the oven, please. Exactly. Uh, and then brush the top with a little bit of egg. And then we throw this in the oven for how long? For um, about uh, about 20 minutes at 350 to 375. And this is the beauty that we get. How about that? What have you put on top there? Now we made a, a reduction with uh, balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of uh, orange juice, uh, some brown sugar. And uh, and just reduce that down nice and slow. You have to be careful with uh, balsamic. There's a lot of sugar in it. Okay. And uh, and so it'll burn if you if you cook it. We too don't want quickly. that to happen. All right. I'm no. going to take a test bite, um, and I think I can probably tell you. I know it's going to be great. As we move on now, to the garlic studded pork roast. There's a lot of garlic in this baby. Twenty cloves of garlic. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and it's one that, uh, mm. that the response is sort of universally the same. Uh, folks seem to feel like there's there's a lot of garlic in it. But uh, really, when garlic co cooks down, uh, it gets really sweet and earthy and this thing yeah I mean you literally you cook it all night long so where um, and I'm just stuffing these and these are you know regular if you're thinking cloves of garlic you are thinking this a whole clove of garlic mm -hmm. sticking them in just kind of randomly all over anywhere anywhere you like no vampires will bother you nope and <laughs> because uh, you've had plenty of you know the the great thing about this I mean this is a uh, is a is a great dish because um, you can you really you can't overcook it as long as there's enough liquid in the pot okay um, we literally cook the ones that we did here all night long here at the studio which gives you I some mean, great flavor so I know you sear it for before you put it in the exactly. oven, we have exactly. one that we're going to look at. That's uh, right. that's done a little bit of a little bit of olive oil there. Right, and uh, and and searing it, you just uh, you know you're just caramelizing the the sugars on the outside. Really, just kind of a minute or two on each side. Not exactly, even. you just want to brown it. Um, then you you uh, put in your vegetables, which uh, we use some more Throw mushrooms all these in the pot. Right, some sweet uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, pearl, some onions. pearl onions, some more of these beautiful fall mushrooms. Right, and this you've chosen the pork shoulder because it's a more inexpensive cut. Exactly. Are you losing any of the flavor though when you choose this cut? No, absolutely not. I mean uh, that's what all barbecue that you get is uh, is made out of shoulders and butts. Okay. I and mean, it's really a nice cut. It's
it's just inexpensive and it needs to cook for a while which is why folks you know tend to slide more towards a pork loin or a tender one because they right, can you can cook faster. them very quickly. This is a nice Sunday dish though so through the magic of television I think we're going to swap this one out just so we can Absolutely. see and taste a little bit. But I got to tell you it smells really good over here and we're all a little hungry. So we're excited for the uh, the finished progress progress product. Pardon me. <laughs> I like this. Oh thing wow! Too. Oh, that smells great. And that's that's what you get. And, and the weather today is perfect for it. Yeah, uh, exactly. This is a perfect fall meal. I mean, the sweet potatoes. Um, you know, the fact that it cooks nice and slowly all night long. And then when you get done with it, I mean, you really can. I mean, see, it's just so tender. It falls right off the bone there. Pull it apart. And as you're, as you're planning it up here, I noticed you've got, is this a little bit of chutney that you put together here? It is, in fact. Is that an apple um, chutney? What's it made of? That's an apple chutney, which okay. uh, you can use just sort of any of your favorite kind of uh, of winter fruit. Okay. Make one? The put a little bit over there. Yeah. And uh, as you're putting that on there, afterwards I'm going to ask you to pass the plate so we can test right. it. You also have for us a chocolate espresso cake, which we're just going to try. We're, we have the recipe on the website, though. When you make this cake, I have one question for you, though. Does it matter the kind of chocolate? If you like a sweeter chocolate, can you use milk, or should it really be a dark, rich uh, really, a dark, rich chocolate is, is going to work uh, much better than, than anything else. Uh, there's a lot of sugar uh, in the in the recipe to, to sweeten it up. Right. But there's just a, a dark chocolate is just so much earthier. Gentlemen, your cake. Yeah. All right, let's see how we did. Now, of course, your budget $35. I'll tell you right now, it all tastes good. Thirty-four seventy-three. Was it enough to put you on the leaderboard? Okay, so you're not in the top three, but I got to tell you, well, these meals. It, it tastes like it's in the top this three. This is definitely on my top yeah. list. That's this is fantastic. Wow, thank you. I highly yeah. recommend this, and it's a perfect day for it. Great to have you with us, John Kearns. It's great to be here. For more information on John's restaurants and also these recipes, log on to our website, cbsnews.com slash Saturday. And there is still much more to come right here on the early show. A little more from Train, perhaps? A modern classic you asked for? Drops of Jupiter you'd like? You shall have them after this. We got some train up in this house. Indeed we do. This Chef on a Shoestring segment sponsored.